everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Little Dragon Reader. Today I will be reading the story Tabby Muck Tat. Tabby Muck Tat was the busker's cat with a meow that was loud and strong. The two of them sang of this and that and people threw coins in the old checkered hat and this was their favorite song. Me, you, and the old guitar. How perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you, and the old guitar. How perfectly happy we are. One morning, while Fred ate some bacon and bread, Mukhtat took a stroll round the block, then stopped, for there on a doorstep sat a gorgeously glossy and green-eyed cat. She was black with one snowy white sock. Sock and Muktat had a cat-to-cat -cat chat, and that's how their story began. For while they were chatting of this and that, a thief had his eye on the old checkered hat. He eyed it, he snatched it, he ran. The busker gave a chase, but he tripped on a lace, and crash! In a flash, he was down. He broke his leg and banged his head, and he ended up in a hospital bed in a far away part of town. Goodbye, Muktat said. I must get back to Fred. But where had Busker gone? The sun went down, and the sky grew black. The stars came out, but he didn't come back. Muktat lingered on and on. A week later, Sock took a stroll round the block and found her new friend looking thin. He's gone off and left me, said Tabby McTat. Then Sock said, My people, Prunella and Pat, would gladly find room for a fine Tabby cat. She was right, and they took McTat in. Next morning, old Fred left his hospital bed and found his way back to the square. But a brass band stood where the pair once sat, and the band played this and the band played that, and Fred looked all around for his loud meowed cat, but Tabby Muktat was not there. Now Muktat had a wife and a very full life with plenty of things to do, like washing Prunella and pouncing on Pat and hiding the car keys under the mat and keeping the newspapers nice and flat, and giving the pens an occasional bat, and nibbling this and nibbling that. But he dreamed of his friend with the old checkered hat, and always woke up with a meal. And he often said, what's happened to Fred? And his paws took him back to the square. But a conjurer stood where the pair once sat, and he pulled out this and he pulled out that. And the people threw coins in a tall black hat. But the busker was never there. One morning, Sock said, Look under the bed and see the three kittens I've had. And Soames looked like this, and Susan looked like that. And the littlest kitten called Samuel Spratt looked exactly the same as his dad. The three kittens grew and they learned how to meal, and Muktat sometimes sang them his song. And Samuel Spratt with his tabby gray fur had a deafening meow and a very loud purr, and he simply loved singing along. Me, you, and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you, and the old guitar, how perfectly happy we are. When Susan and Soames found very good homes, their parents were happy and proud. There was one home like this, and another like that. But nobody wanted poor Samuel Spratt. They all said, his voice is too loud. Now Tabby Muktat was a home-loving cat, but he couldn't stop dreaming of Fred. And one day he called for his wife and his son, and he told them there's something that has to be done. I must go and find him, he said. So up and down, and all over town, he wandered a whole week long. For many a morning and afternoon, 
by the light of the sun and the light of the moon till he heard a familiar song just me and the old guitar if i had a cat i'd be happier for just me and the old guitar with my cat i'd be happier for it's tabby mctat my long lost cat old fred was ecstatically glad then the two of them sang of this and that and people threw coins in the new checkered hat but why did mctat feel sad he was missing his wife and his comfortable life and the dozens of things to do like washing prunella and pouncing on pat and hiding the car keys under the mat and keeping the newspapers nice and flat and giving the pens an occasional bat but how could he tell the busker that then out from a shadow sprang samuel sprat Oh please let me be the busker's cat he said with his deafening meow Now Samuel Sprat is the busker's cat with a meow that is loud and strong The two of them sing of this and that though Samuel just sings a little bit flat and people throw coins in the old checkered hat and this is their favorite song Me you and the old guitar How perfectly perfectly happy we are me you and the old guitar how perfectly happy we are That's the end of this story I'm afraid everyone Hmm do you know why the stranger snatched the old checker hat Have a think about it If you like this video give it a big thumbs up And do not forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned to see more stories from me, Little Dragon Reader. Goodbye.